All right, everyone. Look, there's a lot we could get into in talking about Nintendo, and that's just because it's turning out to be a pretty exciting year, right? We actually have practically a game every month. In fact, if you just look at Nintendo's own self-published games, it does work out to an average of a game every month going all the way through June with the recent announcements of obviously Endless Ocean Luminous. And then we had, you know, dates given for Thousand Year Door. And by the way, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. But still, people are kind of waiting for what the next big thing that's going to excite them right we always want new games new announcements what is nintendo working on their next system hello this is why nintendo switch 2 content is still performing quite well because hey uh, nintendo outside of princess peach and endless ocean which aren't exactly like banger triple a big games from nintendo it's kind of a light year while we have a number of games coming out they're mostly reliant really hard on ports and remasters and that's cool, but we still want to have a bunch more new experiences. Now I'm talking about coming from Nintendo. We still have some pretty big third party games and other stuff happening, Monster Hunter Stories, Remastered, Remake, whatever you want to call that coming out this summer as well. Uh, we have a new Super Monkey Ball coming from Sega slash Atlas. That's really cool. But again, when we're talking about just Nintendo themselves who literally put out more games than anyone else, it is sort of a light year when it comes to brand new releases. Again, just really the two games in Princess Peach Showtime and Endless Ocean Luminous, both of which were made by outside companies. We now know that uh, Princess Peach Showtime was made by Good Feel, a third party studio that's being outsourced. And we obviously know that Endless Ocean, while being published by Nintendo, is made by an outside studio too. So we're just waiting on these big announcements. And whether it's coming in the form of an April Nintendo Direct that's already being rumored, or whether it's going to happen in this next indie showcase, maybe something like Hollow Knight Silk Song. I know, technically, that's also not Nintendo either. Or maybe it's just waiting for the reveal of Switch 2. We all want to know what's going on. And because of that, today something crazy has been going on. Something uh, is beginning a lot of attention that all of us know isn't real. We're talking about an absolutely 1 billion percent fake Nintendo Direct leak. And you know people are getting desperate out there. This is what's trending. I've been pinged for this leak a bunch of times. I've been given a whole bunch of DMs over it. And frankly, I like what it says, but it's a lot of hopium, maybe some copium for the rest of 2024, including the actual direct date. So let's go ahead and look at this. I actually think this was on 4chan originally, but I was brought to my attention by, it keeps pointing back to this one person, PC focus here over on, well, Twitter. And when you go down here, you'll see the readers in order these leaks are false. So we're not even pretending that these are real. You see all the responses, the HR, but you see it's getting a lot of attention, a lot of likes, a lot of shares. People just are this desperate that we'll even talk about fake stuff. So what fake stuff are we getting into? Well, as you can see here, Hyrule Warriors, the imprisoning war. Yeah, we all want a new Hyrule Warriors one. Uh, some people really want an, an Age of Calamity style follow-up. That's what the Imprisoning War one would be. Uh, and then you see the headlines of The Wind Waker HD and Monster Hunter Stories and Endless Ocean Luminous and Eka Mickey Rebrush. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door with obviously The Wind Waker HD being the new addition to that headline portion. Followed up by Fire Emblem Echoes, uh, Scars of Jug Drawl, which is actually from a prior fake leak. So using a fake name from a prior fake leak, always fun there. Then you see headlines of Animal Crossing New Leaf HD because because, you know, that's the thing they would do right now. Fantasy Life I, The Girl Who Steals Time, a game we already know about. Uh, Deca Police, Little Kitty, Big City, and Biomutant. So you can already see, you know, four big announcements already with the Hyrule Warriors Imprisoning War, the Windmaker HD, the Fire Emblem, and the Animal Crossing New Leaf. Then we get to Super Mario Party 2. For some reason, that's a thing that they want to throw on here. Again, we're just wishlisting at this point. And you know what? Hey, we already got Super Mario 3D All-Stars, so why not release a Super Mario Galaxy plus Super Mario Galaxy 2 HD pack? Why not? Why not throw that there? Because we didn't get Galaxy 2. Then you see Scale Wave Unbound, Call of Duty Black Ops Collection, which is probably not what's going to happen. Uh, Braid Anniversary Edition. Then you see Luigi's Match 2 HD. And then you see a ending segment of Metroid Prime, or I should say, well, Metroid Samus Returns HD, Followed up by Metroid Prime 2 Echoes plus Prime 3 uh, Corruption available after presentation. So Shadow Drops and ending with Metroid Prime 4 and they're calling it Extinction. Again, this isn't real, right? But it's fun to dream. And and, and what I like about dreams like this is, is it's such a 
very, very interesting dream because we all want the next big Nintendo Direct to happen, right? We haven't had one yet this year and we all want to see a bunch of this stuff. Uh, there isn't, a, again, still not a ton of new in here. You have Metroid Prime 4, Mario Party 2, and then this is supposed to be like the remake of a game uh, and then Hyrule Warriors. So there's like three of them, but three is still better than none. This still would be a pretty solid uh, thing happening on 418. But again, this isn't real. It's fake as hell. I uh, have HMK saying here, the TM behind Super Mario Party, uh, but not behind Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Also, Call of Duty isn't completely capitalized by the official pages, which is entirely true. Uh, I want Animal Crossing to leave. You see Nick with no K. He was on our podcast yesterday. Uh, also, a friend of the channel. I want Animal Crossing New Leaf HD so bad, but I know this is fake. And it just goes on and on and on. There's a whole bunch in here. Uh, you know, nice wish list. Obviously fake. A new fantasy life game. Oh, my God. Hold up. Call of Duty Black Ops. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And it just keeps going. All the replies are hidden because you know, it's pretty much a fake thing. But hey, you can also go look at all the quote tweets here. Uh, so you want to go take a look at all the quote tweets. You'll see some interesting stuff in here as well. Like Andre Seagull. See, this is even getting Andre from Game Explains attention. Do people actually think Nintendo prints out every announcement with giant Nintendo Direct letterhead, which is clearly not what they do. Uh, John Cartwright coming in here uh, from the Good Vibes Gaming Group. Man, my Daniel in the community note. <laughs> Stealth out here. I thought we'd have to wait until at least May for some fake leaks. Daniel Alba. And you just see you go direct feed games. That's uh, Nate the Hate coming out here. When will the fake Nintendo Direct at least... Uh, let's leak trend and never is the real question uh and you see another friend of the channel nick window k talking again hmk quote tweeting as well that we talked about earlier and over and over and over again just a whole bunch of people pointing out that this is obviously fake but it's still getting attention and people are still talking about it just because one it's got a lot of really cool names two it is clearly just a wish list and three we're kind of just desperate for things to talk about let's just be honest so this is me being honest as a nintendo content creator and someone who's very reliant on the news cycle because i'm a news content creator we do some discussion videos as well and while i have a couple of those in the works really when it comes to our daily content it's really about the news and frankly there isn't a ton going on today and it, it, this is why it's probably getting a lot more attention it's just the lack of real news like if you go over uh let's just say like my nintendo news which usually does the biggest stories uh if you just kind of glance at what's going on over here you'll see oh there's a little luigi's mansion 2 hd trailer why don't we uh why don't we talk about that well there's a reason we don't talk about that it's this little commercial that pretty much has zero new footage and it's just a, a literally a social media ad showing footage that we've already seen so uh, not really noteworthy. Uh, the only real noteworthy story today is this one about the Embracer Group uh, selling Saber Interactive. And this is just notable for the whole industry because Saber Interactive is not going to be closing doors. And we all know Saber Interactive is a company that actually did a ton of Nintendo Switch ports. Now, they actually have their own original games as well, but they were very involved in the Switch port scene. So that's obviously good that they're still going to uh, they're still gonna be doing good. Uh, and I'm, 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 I'm happy to see that they're going to survive all of this because uh, Embracer Group is, well, honestly, I'd be surprised if Embracer Group even exists in a few years. Uh, they bought up a ton of game studios and were hoping for one massive investment that was going to make everything worthwhile. They didn't get that investment. And now Embracer Group is busy selling everything off, trying to cash out because uh, they made a bad bet at a bad time buying up all these studios the last four years. And now... It's all coming back to bite them. And unfortunately, there's been a number of negative things from this. Obviously, not just from job loss, losing studios and stuff. Saber Interactive surviving. So that's like one story. But still, it's not like necessarily about Nintendo. It's like a tangentially related because they port games. So again, it's really, really dry for news. So this is why something like this makes the rounds. This is why people are just having a lot of fun with it. A lot of wish lists. So you know what? Let's end this video with some fun i want you guys to go down below and whenever nintendo does a direct because I, I don't think they're going to go the entirety regardless of the rumors i don't think they're going to go the entirety of 2024 here without at least one general nintendo direct i think you know like we're pretty early in the year right right we're only in march so i think it's safe to say we're gonna get at least one general direct this year i'm gonna go out on a limb here so whenever this general direct happens i want you guys to go down in the comments below on this video and give me your dream list for the nintendo just like this this is clearly just a wish list i want your wish list for the next big general nintendo direct 
go crazy, throw all the games on there you want, or go realistic, whatever you're actually thinking you want to put down. I actually just want to read over those lists. And tonight, when we live stream, we'll actually go over tonight when we live stream at 8 p.m. Central Time, we'll do a Q&A. We're going to go through those wish lists and probably come up with our own wish list for the next Nintendo Direct, just for fun. Not a direct bingo, just a for fun, let's make a list of things and we'll just see what happens. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojance, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.